And hello everybody, how are you guys all out there doing today, huh? Welcome back, to, welcome back, welcome back, oh yeah, another episode of Minecraft, yeah. And you know what, I had a question asked of me in an earlier episode. They wanted to know if we were going to make this five days a week. Well, I've been thinking hard on it, and I'm going to be rearranging some things, okay? One of the things that I'm going to be rearranging is Stardew Valley will actually move to the weekends. Betrayer is almost over. Once that is over, um, I think I'm going to move some of the stuff to the weekend. Because you guys know how I, I usually just do four videos a uh, day, right? You know how I just do four videos a day? Yeah, look at a diamond pick, man. Oh, yeah, we're all decked out. Boom. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. yeah. Go, 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 go. Just shoot it. Just shoot it. Boom, boom. Ta -ba boom, ta boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. I just see. Da, da. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just messing with you guys. I'm just messing. But still, um, one of the things I want to do is I want to move Stardew Valley to oh. the uh, weekends. That will be all right. So here's how here's what's going on right now. All right, um, we got Stardew Valley. Is this is a five? Okay, right now I got one, two, three, four, five LPs going on during the week, and I got one, two going on during the weekends. Okay, so when Betrayer is done, that will end. And then we're going to take one of the Let's Plays, and that will be Stardew Valley. We'll move to the weekend. All right. Now, what else can I move to the weekend? Okay, we'll have Morrowind. We start at 9 o'clock in the morning. We got, we, got, we got seven days to die. Then we have, at 10 o'clock in the morning, we have rising world which is the main feature on my channel rising world is it is it is guys it is the best thing on my channel period it's the one thing that's got me the most views the most subscribers and i thank each and every single one of you guys for subscribing and watching it so i will not be moving rising world to the weekends instead as i was saying we got seven days to die we got rising world we got a 12 o'clock which is currently our stardew valley Okay, so let's just say this. All right, let's just move this thing, move that, move. Uh -huh. All right, let's let's just see this. Okay, right now we got. Let's just move this one out. Move this one out. In order for me to move this out, what I need to do is I need to spread it out. I need. One at 9 o'clock, I need to switch the other one to 11 o'clock, and the other one will release, so we do 9, 12, and 3, okay? I need 3 LPs for the week, alright? And we, then we need 2 LPs for the weekend. So, how are we going to pull this off? Well, I don't know. I'm trying to think of it, okay? I really am. I mean, if we make a hole right here, make a hole right here. I mean, whenever you put too much stress on yourself, I mean, it actually starts to show after a while because you do one video, then you skip out and do another one. Then you do one video, then you skip out and do another one. Then you do another one, and then eventually it's just like, uh, uh, yeah, we don't want to do that. Okay, what we want to do is we do not want... Boom, boom. We don't want five LPs going on during a week. We got Wailu and we got Stardew Valley. Those are going to move to the weekend. Okay? Now what's going to happen with that is... Hello? Alright, whatever. Alright, so we'll have Stardew Valley and we'll have... Wailu will move to the weekends, and the reason I'm doing Wailu, guys, is because I never completed the game, and I really want to complete it. Now, for these other videos, we'll say Marwind, Seven Days to Die, and the other one. All right, I can't do, I, I have to move a third one to the weekend. So what are we going to do? All right, we'll have Stardy Valley. We can move Morrowind to the weekends, and we can move a uh, Stardew Valley. So we'll have 9, 12, and 3, and over here we'll have 9, 12, and 3 as well. 
So that's what my plan is for that. Um, I hope I'm not confusing you guys. It does take a little bit of getting used to, but I want Minecraft, I want Seven Days to Die, and I want Rising World running during the week. The other stuff, I want to do it during the weekend. But Morrowind has become like something I want to complete, okay? I want to be able to play some other games. One other thing I'm tired of doing is living in a hole in the ground. Okay, I am so tired of living down here that I just want to get out of here. I want to chop some wood and I want to build myself a home. All right, we went off and we got some diamonds last episode. Nice, right? Nice. Well, now I need wood. And for some reason, I cannot figure out why these trees won't grow. It's driving me crazy. Stop! Just grow already! <laughs> Seriously. If we got these bunnies. You know, you, you know how they're always hopping around? Well, if we hold this thing in our hand... Hey, Mr. Bunny, look. Look how they come to you now. So, we need leather. And we seem to have a lot of bunnies around here. Hi. Have one. <gasps> And now we're going to uh, chop some wood. We're going to build ourselves a little bit of a pen. And I think I want to put our pen for our bunnies, like right over here, so that we can get both leather. I mean, try to stick to the biome, the animals that you'll find in it. And that's what our, our goal is right here. We'll just go ahead and get all this snow off of here. You know, got to shovel the snow. Got to shovel the snow. And we got bunnies all over the place. We got carrots growing. We got bunnies. We're doing good. All right. Eventually, we want to decorate, deck this place out some. You know, kind of make it look nice and pretty. But for right now, we just need a place we can store these guys. I'm going to chop some trees down. You know, we got that big forest over there. We're going to make some fencing. Maybe mix in a couple of trees together. Some oak. Maybe some spruce, make it look nice and pretty for these guys. Now, I think we have to have the fence double high for these guys. I cannot remember. I cannot remember if you have to have it double low or not. So what I want to do instead is I want to measure out an 8x8. Eight eight. So we'll say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, I'm going to go out one more on each corner. And this right here is our eight, right here. Okay, so there we go. And I'm going to make this hole double deep with a way down. But I also want to, come on, get out of my hand. Thank you. I also want to cobble it up. So we actually have our full eight by eight. So right now it's going to be turning into a 10 by 10. All right. So, again, we come over here. One, two, three, four right there. Five, six, seven, eight. Again, our extra one. And just bring us the whole way across. And we have our full eight by eight right here, right here in the center. Okay. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I want to take this 8x8 right here. I want to drop it down by 2. I'm going to put cobble along the walls just temporarily. Whoops, we did that one a bit wrong. Tell you, let me do this off camera and I'll be right back, guys. Hey guys, I'm out here cutting trees, and I ran across this very strange generator tree right here. It's just like cut straight down the middle. Um, it's not the same over there. It is. It's quite literally a straight cut through here. I don't know what that's all about, but I'm also picking up mushrooms and... You know, getting stuff and things. We got ourselves lots of dogs over here. Um, we're going to try to stick with the biomes. And what I mean by that, you know what? I think we have more than enough wood at this point. Uh, let's just grab my bed. I got it. Okay. 
So let's get back over here to where we're building and we'll start doing some stuff and things together. Ow, ow. Um, get a flower. Why not? <laughs> and we should have plenty of taters. I think I want to get some uh, stuff and things. I want to bring these these guys over. I'll show you what I have so far. All right. I started to build this thing. I was like, you know what? It'd be nice if we could mix some ice blocks or something in with it. But it's just a generic, you know, just a pit for right now. But we're going to dress this thing up and make it look pretty. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get some of these. Like so. All right. Now we're going to take these and we're going to place them run right on each one of these corners. Just like so. And it, I realize this, it doesn't look like it's 8x8 eight eight on the inside. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, so I am off by 1. That's okay. A little bit odd, but it should work all the same. Alright, now the type of ladder I want to use, guys. Oh, not a ladder, but um, fence. Is I want to make an oak would uh let's see here we need this is this yeah that's how you make the fence gate nice okay um uh, we could place this right here and we're probably going to need some of this so we'll go ahead and do 12 um one two three four do this We'll turn all that into sticks. And we'll go over here. We'll do fencing. Bada bing, bada bing. Oh, that's a little bit too much. Well, that's okay. We can work with it, okay? Uh, we can work with it just for right now. You can see I used some snow blocks in here with it. But we still have to get the animals in here. So I'm going to leave this side of the gate open over here. I want to try to stick to the biome, as I was saying, um, which means I want to be able to use snow, I want to use ice, anything that grows within the taiga and the plains biome itself. So this is what our p color palette is going to be like, all right? Now, there are other blocks that we could use. I mean, we could use stone bricks, obviously. Um, if we take these things, we turn them into fencing and all that other stuff happy stuff let's just eh, close that thing for right now take these things you can do one of them with it if you take two of those you can do bada bang like that with it and we got all these different block types that we could use you know and i think i really would love to mix this stuff in with it but at the same time i'm gonna need to do one of these on each top of them now it's just gonna be floating it's gonna be floating just temporarily but Here's what I want to do, all right? Just so it doesn't look like it's floating, we're going to do one of them just like this. And I'm going to make one of those for each of the corners. Figure out I wanted to make this place with you guys. So let's just go right on ahead and let's do that. All right. Uh, I could use a little bit more. There we go. It's better than nothing. There we go. And give me that. All right. So, we're going to go ahead, we're going to place this on here. Whoops. Wrong plot. Wrong spot. Wrong spot. Eh, give me. Uh, I think that one fell inside. That's okay. We'll grab it. There we go. Ah, no, nah, it fell right there. Cool. That's all right. That's all right. And what we're going to put on top of that is I want to use a torch. Let's see here. Do we have any torches on us? Yeah, right there. So I want to put a torch on top of each of these. That way it doesn't melt the snow underneath it. But at the same time, I could actually hop on top of this. And yeah. there we go. We could place this on top of that. Now that should be a two by two block. Let me see here. All right. Uh, 14. Will that work? Bada bing, bada boom. All right, yeah, that'll work. That'll work right there. All right, so let's put this on top of that. If we can get up there, seriously. 
All right, so I want to put one here, one here. Whoops, no, not one right there. Mm. And the idea for this is to give it a nice little attractive roof where it looks like it's about the same. And then I could use stone brick slabs to come off the edges and maybe add an oak wood uh, thing to it. But we still have to get the bunnies inside of here. Now, let's hop inside the bottom of this thing and let's get some lighting down here so we don't get snow. I want to make sure my bunnies are feeling good. You know, they're not feeling like they're captive, even though technically they are. One, two, three. That'll have to do. Right there. All right. Now we can climb up out of here, grab our crafting bench. No, we can't grab it. All right, let's see here. All right, now let's scoop these things up. We got to go get some carrots, and we got to grab our bunnies and bring them over here and put them in here. And then we could build the, uh, finish building this together. All right, so let me go get bunnies. You know what? Let me go get some carrots, and we'll be back. All right. Oh, great. Why do I keep doing that? Stop breaking the crafting table. All right. Let's go get some uh, carrots. And we'll feed our bunnies. And here we go. Yeah. I'll get, get, just get the carrots with you guys. All right. There you go. Nice. And this is what I mean by this. This does not freeze, okay? I don't have to put lily pads on here because if I, even if I did, I think it would delete the water. But we actually have a use for the carrots in the snow biome, okay? We could feed our bunnies. We can raise them. Um, we don't want to name them, okay? We definitely don't want to name them. We just want to have ourselves enough carrots. There you go. 40 carrots. Not bad. And while I'm over here, I might as well... No, I don't have the space for it. Well, we, we can have ourselves some cooked rabbit meat. There you go. Uh, no, we don't need... We're not hungry. Okay. That's all right. That's okay. So let's go get ourselves some bunnies. They should be attracted to this. Hey, the bunny bunny. How you doing? You coming with me? There you go. Oh, we gotta take our time. He's a slow one. Aww. He's a cute one. Come on. Come on. Bring those cute little ears over here. There you go. You guys see the pink in her eyes and everything. Oh, this this bunny's adorable. Huh. But you'll make some good dinner. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> And gotta get herself some more bunnies and finally that King Kong grew. Which will give us yet another Taiga block to work with. It'll be like it's the um Hmm, I'm trying to think of the name of it. Come on, bunny bunny. I know you can't get out of this thing, so once you're in, you're in. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go, good boy, or girl, whatever you are. Um, let me get out of here and cover this. There we go. So we got one bunny down there. Let's go get ourselves another one. And then we can breed these things up together. Let me go see if I can find one. Maybe we can find one of a different color. But then again, where do we find bunnies? Aha, here's another one right over here. What color are you? Oh, you're about the same. Oh, this is going to be awesome. I wanted a different color bunny, but you'll do fine. It's probably because you're in a snow biome. Uh, I didn't mean to eat that in front of you. Really, I didn't. Come on. I found your friend. She's over here. Or he, whichever it is. I can't tell the difference. Come on. Come on. Come with daddy. Come on. Come with daddy. Yes, you is. You's a cute bunny. Yum, yum, yum. Lick my chops. All right, come on, bunny. You coming through? Can you see me? Don't worry about the tall grass. 
Don't worry, I'm not gonna hit the tall grass. We're almost there. Don't worry. Dinner is just a little bit away. <laughs> oh, you didn't hear me laugh like that. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Don't worry. That music isn't playing for you. It's playing for me. It's saying it's a happy, happy day. Come on. Good, guys. How you doing? Here you go. And do we get a baby bunny? Yes, we got a baby bunny. Ha ha, yeah. All right, guys. So now we got ourselves a way of breeding some rabbits. Um, lots and lots and lots of rabbits. Lots of food. We'll try not to eat this bunny around them. Well, this rabbit hide or whatever you want to call it. All right, let's grab these things. And I guess I'm going to get to work on this roof. And I'll be back here in a moment, guys. Me, this is a tiny idea. Put a torch on top of it. Bring these things around. We should put the torches maybe about right here instead. But I don't want to do that. I want to do things differently. Oh, for... All right, be back. All right, guys. I wanted to bring you back in here, show you this. I went off. I did a lot of... Uh, I'm still cooking some of this stone up. Um, I'm thinking of doing is we're going to take this cobble, this uh, stone brick. We're going to use it to accent it. We're going to leave this just the way it is. And this right here is just going to be the outline, a single outline. It goes the whole way around. Um, I looked at this right here and I was like, no, you know what? We need some slabs. All right. We need to integrate this thing with some slabs so that it so that it accents it nicely and it comes together in one piece and once this thing comes together up here at the top i'm thinking i want to use a whole bunch of these dark oak i mean not dark oak these spruce oak things to uh kind of give it a little bit of a roof now this isn't going to be the house this right here is a house for our bunnies which looks like they're ready to be fed again. So let's go ahead and do that. And once we get... I decided to make a couple chests. So let's see here. We only need maybe two. Just for right now. Now we can just hop down here. We can feed our bunnies. Looks like two of them are doing okay. Oh, they're all grown up. One of them's all grown up. Hey there, how you doing? There you go. Could you give us a different color bunny? What kind do we get? Uh, it's just another pink one. That's okay. Got a whole family of these guys going on down here. But the important thing is, is that these guys give us these rabbit hides. Now, these rabbit hides, if we look in our inventory, these things, let's, let's see here. Um, there you go. A two by two of rabbit hides gives you one leather. Now, we're going to be needing this to make ourselves an enchanting table. So instead of going out there and getting random cows that aren't spawning in this area, we're going to use what is here. We got oak. We got ice, which is going to be really nice. We even have an ice spikes biome in the distance. But sadly, we cannot, <clears throat> we cannot harvest that without a silk touch. So I'm thinking along the lines of next week, we're going to build ice farm together. Maybe we can get some silk touch and we can compress that stuff and make it ourselves. But for right now, let's finish off this roof and I'll be back and I'll show you guys the end result. Hey guys, first apple. <laughs> Bring you in here for that. I know some of you might not matter about that, but you know what? It's the first apple of the season. This thing's coming together nicely, and I think I'm going to go ahead and finish it with you. Um, let's, I mean, you guys can see I did this little niche on top of this thing right here. I just want to make sure that I don't get any mobs spawning down there besides the ones that we already have. And also, we should have ourselves enough oak wood. To uh, complete this, there we go. So let's get ourselves some of that. 
Let's take one. Yeah, we'll take one stack. We'll turn it into stairs like so. There we go. And we're going to use the rest of this. Put this in here. And let's make some slabs out of that right there. There you go. We got more than enough slabs. All right. So let's go on top of this thing and let's finish it off. It's been a little bit of time coming for us to finish that. Whoops. Wrong button. All right. And while we're up here, we're going to go ahead and do one of these. And another one. That should give us plenty for in areas like like this, okay? Areas just like this. Um, yeah, these things they rotate now, don't they? The birch blocks, they now they rotate. Yeah, I didn't think of that. All right, so let's see here. These things they. All right, let's start by placing one maybe right here. Let's do that same thing maybe right here. And then we could just cover this hole up like so. And do that same exact thing on the other side. Let's pull this out. There you go. Yoink this one out. All right. Now, as for this top portion, we're not going to really need to worry about it too, too much but let's see here no let's not add that thing in there i thought about just using the ceiling out of bark but i don't want to do that let's see here yeah that should work out just fine and yeah looks looks good looks good looks good looks real good all right let's slap one of these right here slap another one maybe about right here And there we go. Slap one right there in the center. Now I think this right here does show some. So we're going to go ahead and put that there like that. That way when you go on the interior you can actually see this. Now another thing that I think I actually want to do is I want to bring this across. Kind of like a cross beam on the interior. So whenever you look up from inside, it actually looks a little bit better and it doesn't look all stone-like or just all wood. So we're going to go ahead we're going to bring this across like this. And let's hop on the other side of this thing right here. And let's do that same exact thing right here. Another one. There you go. And it's coming together nicely. Only thing that we got left to do right now is just to... I'm good. I'm curious about one thing. Why don't we get four? You use four logs. Why don't you get four back? <laughs> All seriousness, why don't you get one back? All right, so we got our oak slabs and we got our oak wood stairs. All right, not bad. Um, this piece has to come out. And I'm not too worried about the other mobs. Not right now. We're going to come across this like so. Place these in. And when we get down below, you guys will be able to see an even better difference with this. Um, we're missing a slab. There you go. Let's put this one in right here. And then we come right across with these. This will prevent any spawning on top. And when it snows, it won't snow inside of here either, which is something really good. We could always use that. There we go. Bring this across like so. Let's go ahead. Let's. Where's my slabby slabs at? Our stairs. There we go. Let's get some stairs up inside of this thing like this. Now, when you look up at this from the inside, it should look really nice. Both on the exterior, on the interior as well. Had just enough stairs for this. That's always a good thing. We got our food. We got our fo everything that we need. All right, let's look for our way down. Aha, we are skip we're missing a spot. We're missing a spot. Aha. All right, let's fix that before we go down. There you go. 
Now, a little trick, if you guys are up high and you don't want to take any damage when you drop down, just do one of those right onto the bed and then take a nap. <laughs> use a bed. Why use water when you can jump on the bed? Now, didn't your mama always tell you not to drop on a bed? Hey, buddy, how you doing? Hey, I'll ke I can go without the heat, please. Looks good. I mean, sure, it looks a little bit of flat right here, but we can correct that by coming up, maybe just dropping this thing out right here. And we can adjust that making some stairs. Let's see here. Let's make some, uh, yeah, let's make some oak wood stairs. Should work good for both sides. Get that monsters out of our way. We don't want no monsters in this. No, we don't. There we go. Break that up with something like that. Maybe we put some uh, slab action in here like this. Again, it's a little bit floaty, floaty, but still it looks good all the same. Um, here's my here's my way down. Do I got two crafting tables over here? I guess I do. Now we can come over here, do that same exact thing. Let's get our thingy out. Here we go. All right, and we put a stair in right here. Another one right here. Finish it off with some slab action. There we go. There we go. Looks nice. It does. I mean, sure, this contrasts it just a little bit, maybe a wee bit too much. Hmm. How can we fix that? Don't know. Well, guys, I think I've been recording long enough here for today. I got some Betrayer I have to record as well. And while we're at it, I think we should go ahead and feed our bunnies. And why not? There you go. Hey, bunnies. Hey, how you doing? Hey, have some food. Oh, yeah, got lots of baby action going on here. <laughs> Don't have to worry about anything else down here. And from the inside, it doesn't look half bad. It actually looks pretty good. Now, I, uh, I'm going to stand back here and I'm going to hit F12 because I hooked this thing. You know what? No, no, no. Let's move this off of here. It doesn't... It, as much as it accents it, I think it was a little bit too flat and had a little too much stuff in it. Uh, kind of like my inventory at the moment. Get out of here. There you go. Let's go to the other side. Let's do the same exact thing. I'm not too crazy about this. It does look good, but too much of one thing can hurt a project. So, yeah, let's try this and this does need broke up but what do we break it up with hmm here's an idea why don't we break it up with this and we can bring this down like nah should we no let's not bring it down and say we did There you go. We can head to the other side. Let's try that over here as well. Actually, just two of them. Just two. Seems to work out just fine. Yeah, that seems to work out real nice. Now, to break it up even further, we can place one of these maybe right here. One here, one here, you know, kind of make it look like something's hanging off of it. Um, we can put a jack-o'-lantern maybe right off the edge of this or something to make it look like it's hanging down as if it's a nice good light source. Let's do that same thing over here. Uh-oh. Ran out of fencing and we need a screenshot of this. Here, get that out of here. All right, let's get ourselves. And we need oak. All 
There we go. Alright, let's hit F1 on this. And, yeah, that don't look half bad. How's it look from the side? How's it look from a distance? There you go. How's that look from a distance? It looks good. It looks really good. Let's get him on over here. Here he goes. Um, we're missing a slab up there. I can see that from right here. It looks like, let's see here. It goes right there. Ha ha. There you go. Get yourself another screenshot of that. F1, F12. And we're getting double screenshots, which is kind of funny. But, guys, I think that's going to be it for today's episode. We got ourselves a uh, bunny pen. Um, I guess we can call that a bunny turd. <laughs> a bunny turd. <laughs> it's a bunny turd. <laughs> Alright guys, take care, have yourself a wonderful day Hopefully you enjoyed this episode if so, be if so, be sure to leave a like Slap that like button, subscribe for more And I'll see you guys next time Later